Ipsu. Sus da ini tengok ni. Hello everyone. Welcome to Language Guide channel. Today's lesson, I just want to explain you more about the Khmer consonants. That in the previous video, I was teaching you only the way how to pronounce them. And I was showing you only the shape of each character. Okay, that um, uh, they all look just um, uh, just like normal uh, character. Okay, but uh, today I just want to explain you more because all of those characters, all of those consonants, they all have one character just uh, below them. Okay, please uh, take a look at this uh, character. So as you see right now in this picture, you see, this is the the name of this consonant is called ko, okay. But uh, just below this character, there is another character, okay. Why? And why? Uh, does it have that uh, character just below them and not just this one and please take a look at all of this Okay, so they all have um, each uh, Character just below them So all those characters that they stay uh, Below all those characters They are called in Khmer we call uh, That means foot Right? It's like human foot. You cannot walk without that, uh, without your feet. Okay, so each of these characters has its own foot. So its foot, it just sounds like exactly the same as uh, that character. For example, this letter is called ko. In Khmer, we call a so. Ko, that means let, letter ko. And the character below this, the stay below this character is also call chung ko. That the word chung means foot and ko, it's the name of that character. A so ko. It's Foot is called chung ko. That means foot ko. Okay, I hope you you understand about this. And let me explain the reason why uh, all these characters have uh, its own foot. Because let let just compare with uh, English. I, I'm not sure about other languages, but uh, in English, when you spell um, one word, for example, the word sing, okay, sing, that you put S I N G, sing. So, sing, just the letter S that sound S, S, okay, and I. And ng, so we pronounce just s i n g sing. Please take a look at another word. Start. Okay, start. You put s t a r and t. So we pronounce start. Okay, that we put first letter is s. And end of the letter is T that sounds T. So S sounds S and T sounds T. So we put these two together. Star, star, star. Okay. Okay, please take a look in Khmer uh, language. So if we put the letter GO, okay, this character it sounds G. And you put another vowel that is srak a. So letter ko plus another vowel is called srak a. 
it sounds k and a sounds k okay and take a look at another uh, word k dam okay k dam means crap so k dam the way how to write k dam if you, you 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 use english letter you have to put k okay and then d a m okay you pronounce k dam but in Khmer, you put letter K and then you don't put any other character uh, after the letter. So the next uh, character you have to put the foot of the letter DO, okay? Because DO sounds D, it sounds like D. So, we use the foot of the letter D to put underneath of the letter K. Okay, so K, K, and the foot of letter letter D that we put underneath sounds D. Okay, and then we put vowel, sra a, and then uh, mo, mo. That sounds m like m, okay? So we uh, pronounce this word cắt đàm có trường đó sạ á lưng mổ cắt đàm, okay? So um, I hope you understand about this because in English they don't have um, uh, feet. Each character doesn't have foot, so that's why they have when they pronounce, when they spell the word that you have to put two different characters. You have to put uh, the next one just on the right side. Just follow that way, okay? Like uh, this word, like the word start. You have to put S and T. But if another word that you have to put three letters, you have to put three or four just uh, on the right side next to them or next to each other but in Khmer we don't do that okay please remember that we don't uh, if we spell one word that we have to put um, more than one uh, character more than one uh, letter we use the foot okay we use the foot to pronounce. We don't use the character to put uh, on the right side next to the first letter. So we have to use its foot instead of the uh, real uh, character. Okay, so that's the reason why all of these characters have its uh, own foot. This is the, the rule of Khmer language that uh, I know that it, it, it's when you, you, you hear about this and when you see them you feel like it's very uh, complex very hard to learn about all these characters and very hard to uh, pronounce them and, and dispel them but please don't be uh, messy please don't be uh, complex on this you just uh, what you have to do, you just need to learn how to write them, to pronounce them correctly, and then um, it's food that we put underneath. You just remember how to write, how to draw its shape, and that's it because its food it just sound exactly the same as its own letter, okay, its own character. It's just the way how to use them is different that uh, we have when we spell one word that we have to use two characters the first character we have to use the real letter and then the second letter we don't use 
its real character we have to use its foot okay i hope you understand about this so let's start uh, looking to each of these characters with its own uh, foot that I just put uh, just underneath of each character because its its position is when we spell, when we write, when you know clearly, you know how to spell, you know how to write down uh, the paragraph, um, you will see and you will know how to use them. That all of the, of all of these uh, feet you have to put uh, underneath of each uh, character. Okay, but right now so let's focus. Uh, on them with a specific character with uh, its own uh, foot that I put under this. Okay, so uh, let, let's start. Ah, so, co, chừng co. Ah, so, co. Chương khó À xò Cổ Chương cổ À xò khổ Chương khổ À xò ngổ Chương ngổ Ah, so jaw. Chung jaw. Ah, so chaw. Chung chaw. Ah, so jaw. Chung jaw. Ah, so chaw. Chung chaw. A so nyo chung nyo A so do chung do A so to chung to A so do chung do So thu Chừng thu À so nò Chừng nò À so to Chừng to À so thò Chừng thò À, so tô Chừng tô À, so thô Chừng thô À, so nô Chừng nô À, so bò Chừng bò A so po chung po A so po chung po A so po chung po A so mo chung mo A so yo chung yo A so ro chung ro A so lo chung lo A so wo chung wo A so so chung so 
อัสฮอจึงฮออัสลอจึงลออัสออจึงอ Thank you very much for watching, and I hope this video is useful for you in your learning Khmer language. And if you have any question or any request about Khmer language, please feel free to leave your comment in the comment section below. And if you don't want to miss the all the upcoming videos. Please uh, have subscribe and hit the bell sign below. Thank you very much, and see you in the next video.